Hello everyone, myself Gargi Pan, Assistant Professor of Science and Social Science Department, Mallabhum Institute of Technology, Vishnupur. Today I discuss basic concept of probability. First we have to know what is random experiment. An experiment which has the following characteristics is called random experiment. First is uncertainty of outcome. The outcome or the result is not fixed. It is uncertain. That is, it cannot be predicted from the beginning of the experiment. Second is repeatability. The experiment can be very easily repeated as many times as we like without much preparation. Third is statistical regularity. Though the outcome is uncertain, yet there is regularity in the long run. If the experiment repeated n times and a particular outcome occurs m times, then the ratio m by n tends to a finite value as n tends to infinity. Next, sample space and sample point. The set of all possible outcomes of a random experiment is called sample space or event space. And particular outcome of a random experiment is called sample point. What is event? Let S be the sample space of a random experiment and A be any subset of S. Then A is called event of the random experiment. Now I give a simple example of tossing a coin. When a coin is tossed, the outcome is either head or tail. But the outcome cannot be predicted from the beginning of the experiment. Secondly, this experiment of tossing a coin can be repeated very easily without much preparation. Thirdly, if a coin is tossed n times and a particular outcome suppose head appears m times, then the ratio m by n tends to a finite value half. So this experiment follows all the previous three characteristics of random experiment. That means tossing a coin is a random experiment. So here H and T that is head and tail are sample points and the sample space S is this. Next throwing a die is also a random experiment. We all know that when we throw a die the possible outcomes are 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6. All these are sample points. So, sample space S is this. Consider an event A of getting prime faces. That is A is 1, 3, 5. Next example is tossing a pair of coins. The sample points are head head, head tail, tail head and tail tail. Suppose A be an event of getting at least one head. So, A is H, 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 T, T, H. Similarly, if we consider the random experiment of throwing a pair of dice, the sample space contain 36 sample points. Next, mutually exclusive events. Two events A and B of a random experiment are said to be mutually exclusive events if A intersection B equal to 5. That is, there is no common elements in A and B. Now I discuss about classical definition of probability. Let S be the sample space of a random experiment. Suppose S has n sample points which are all mutually exclusive and equally likely. Equally likely means they have equal chance to occur. Also let A be any event containing M elements. Obviously A is subset of S. Then we define the probability of A as P of A equal to M by N. Where N is called total number of mutually exclusive and equally likely cases. And M is called number of favorable cases for the event A. Obviously, here N is number of elements in sample space S and M is number of elements in the event A. What is independent events? 
A and B be any two events of a random experiment. The events A and B are said to be independent events if probability of A intersection B equal to probability of A into probability of B. Next, theorem of total probability. If A and B be any two events of a random experiment, then the theorem of total probability states that probability of A union B equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. Now I discuss limitations of classical definition of probability. Number one, if in a random experiment number of sample points in the sample space is infinite, then this definition is not suitable. Number two, this definition use the word equally likely, which means equal probable. That is probability of cases are all equal. So, we use the idea of probability in defining probability. That is the definition is circular. Number three, in some complicated problem, the calculation of possible outcomes and favorable cases are difficult. Axiomatic definition of probability. Let S be the sample space of a random experiment and A be an event. A real number P of A satisfies the following axioms. Number 1. P of A lies between 0 and 1. Number 2. P of sample space is 1. Number 3. If A1, A2, A3 are mutually exclusive events, then P of Union of all events is equal to P of A1 plus P of A2 plus P of A3 and so on. This real number P of A is called probability of the event A. So, this is brief discussion on basic probability. Thank you.